Hello, this is the fantastic quiz for you my dear students for class 10th from chapter 1 to chapter 8. So let us we start the quiz, very simple and common question. You can use these questions in a quiz competition or in a MCQ based examination. So let us start the question number 1. If two positive integers p and q can be expressed m is equal to a b square n is equal to how much a q b then LCM of mn is when you find out the LCM in this uh, exponential form then first you find out the highest power of a it is not a only it is a cube so where is the a cube in this format S option c is your correct answer because highest power of the b is also 2 so option c is the correct answer if 1 0 of the quadratic polynomial x square plus 3x plus k is 2 that means x is equal to 2 when you put in this polynomial then it will be 2 to the 4 and 3 to the 6 4 plus 6 it is 10 10 plus k is equal to 0 then k is equal to minus 10 so which option is correct b option is the correct answer Graphically, the pair of equation given by 6x minus 3y plus 10 is equal to 0 and 2x minus y plus 9 is equal to 0 represent two lines which are how to find out? Let us see a1 upon a2, 6 upon 2, it is 3, minus 3 upon minus 1 also equal to 3, but 10 upon 9 that is not equal to a1 upon a2 is equal to b1 upon b2, but not equal to c1 upon c2. So, line must be parallel because there is no solution. Right now, if the quadratic equation x square plus 4k plus k is equal to 0 has real and equal root, then value of k is, what is the value of k? Let us see, real and equal b square minus 4ac, 4 is 4 16, 4ac, 16 minus 4 into k, 4k is equal to 16, then k is equal to 4, option c is the correct answer. The perimeter of a triangle which vertices, with vertices 0, 4, 0, 0 and 3, 0. My dear student, first you find out the distance of this point, distance of this point, then distance of this point. Then you find out the perimeter, distance formula is root x2 minus x1 whole square y2 minus y1 whole square. When you odd add all these three sides in a triangle, then the perimeter will be how much? 12 units. So now next question is n minus 2, comma 4 n minus 1 and 5 n plus 2 are in a p. Find the value of n. Yeah, this is the first term a1, this is the second term a2. Then this is the third term is A3. So apply the concept of common difference A2 minus A1 that is equal to A3 minus A2. Then solve the equation. Then you will find out N is equal to 1. Okay. If in triangle ABC and DEF, AB upon DE, BC upon EF, then they will be similar. When? When? You see angle B is equal to angle D. Why? Because if two corresponding sides uh, are in the same ratio and their included angle is equal, therefore, by SAS similarity criterion, these two triangles will be similar. So, the angle included angle must be equal. So, option C is the correct answer. Cos A is equal to 4 upon 5, then value of 10 A. First, you find out, uh, draw a triangle. Then, you have to apply here A. So, it is the right angle triangle. 4 upon 5 base upon hypotenuse apply the Pythagoras theorem perpendicular will be 3 so what will be 10a 10a will be 3 upon 4 which option is the correct answer 3 upon 5 10a 3 upon 4 very good very good so I think it's option B is the 3 upon 4 you have to cancel out in the purple color <laughs> right you understand because I colored all answers in purple so next question is the Assess, uh, assertion and reasoning. My dear students, in this year, CBSC introduced again assertioning reasoning question. There will be two or three questions in the CBSC board examination. So, my first question is assertion for A and reasoning reason for R. The assertion is if the pair of lines are coincident, then we say that pair of lines consistent and it has unique solution. If there are unique solution, yes. Condition is consistent, right? But lines are not coincident. That means assertion is wrong. Let's see the reason. 
if the pair of lines are parallel there has no solution it is correct and is called inconsistent also correct pair of equation yes assertion a is correct but reason r is true reason r is true why it is true because two lines are parallel there is no solution condition is inconsistent so option d is the correct answer next a degree of a zero polynomial is not defined very good this is also correct but the degree of non zero constant polynomial is zero assertion a is correct and reason r is correct both assertion a and reason r are true but reason r is not correct explanation of assertion a so my dear student please try to solve this type of question when you are going to appear in 2023 march board examination all the best like and subscribe to aap kar hi rahe hain channel is growing in well manner all the best take care of yourself good night